Hey everybody. So today really what I want to talk to you is just do a really quick little tip about um, our dialing session. So um, as we know that this business really the most important thing is to be on the phone, right? Um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, we're not really in the mood to be on the phone, but we really have no choice if we're going to um, book appointments, right? Um, or talk to families or do things over Zoom or do telesales because, you know, this industry here, um, it, it's just based on a lot of phone calls, right? And anybody that's just starting or those of us who have been in the industry previously know that, um, you know, you have a specific amount of, you know, dials that you're supposed to do, um, whether it be each dial session or, um, you know, depending if you're doing um, your sales um, or your calls um, every day because you're doing telesales or Zoom, you have a specific amount that you're supposed to be doing in order to see the uh, results that you're looking to see, right? So why I'm doing this is about the dials is just because I want to encourage you guys to um, basically track your dials, right? Um, so, you know, on the website, we do have a dial tracker. And, you know, when you're using such a thing, it keeps you more cognitively um, in tune with what you're doing, and you can actually calculate your results. So, you know, as time goes on, you know, if whether you're a new agent or, you know, an agent that's been in the industry or here at Family First Life for a while, you know, it, it can kind of give you like a reference point, right? So for instance, your goals for the week, right? Um, you know, I'm sure we all have these, right? I know I do um, on what I'm supposed to, you know, uh, accomplish for the week, whether it be, you know, a specific amount of dials for my appointments, you know, my amount of appointments that I get. And then also, you know, talking to agents and doing those things, there's a specific amount of things that I have to put in place per week to, you know, basically get my goals accomplished. So what I find is when you do take that um, extra time and, you know, you check off, um, you know, oh, I made this dial. And a dial isn't just how many times you called, you know, the phone number. It's, well, I mean, the, the number. It's how many times, like, you've literally picked up the phone and had it dial. So that sounds a little confusing. But what I mean is, like, each number that you dial and each time that you dial that number is considered a dial because you are actually, even if it's the same person, right, because you're trying to call and contact them, you know, more than once, right? So, you know, you can, you can mark that down. Um, and this is obviously for those of us that are doing our dials still by hand, right? You know, there are some really great systems that you can put into place um, or use, you know, so like the phone burner, I know that you can upload all of that stuff with your Excel and, you know, it'll go through everything and it'll kind of track your dials for you. Okay. Um, I personally am still kind of using the dinosaur method of doing mine by by hand. Um, so I find the dial tracker to be um, resourceful for me. Um, because whenever I, you know, say, oh gosh, like I'm, I'm getting tired of these dials. Nobody's picking up this person, you know, um, you know, responded to me this way or whatever, you know, like I look at my dials, I'm like, oh geez, you know, like I really haven't been um, doing the dials amount that I need to be doing to see the results that I need to see. And when you can look at it and you really have it, you know, just put down in front of you, you, it gives you that better understanding. So if you're just picking up the phone and you're dialing and you're not tracking anything, you know, you, you may think, oh, I, I made, you know, 250 dials in the last, you know, three hours, right? And um, realistically, you really didn't. You only maybe made, you know, 50. And you, you know, it just feels like that, you know, because sometimes when you're doing this business, things that, you know, you're not immediately seeing results for or, that maybe you don't enjoy doing, um, sometimes feel tedious and, and long and drawn out, right? And we, we tend to think we've been doing them longer than we have, or we just get kind of like bored with it, right? Um, and, you know, in order to maintain yourself and your business, you just want to, you know, just 
just record that stuff um, down. And, you know, what I find helpful too is, you know, you can, you can create a folder, um, you can, you know, upload them into your computer and you can kind of like analyze these things. And, you know, it's good to analyze your business and your activity because it kind of keeps you more accountable for everything, you know? And, you know, the only person that's really pushing you or making you do um, your dials is you, okay? Because I'm not going to come behind you and say, okay, well, you've only done this amount of dials you need to do that. That's your job now as an independent, um, you know, agent or business owner. You have to learn to be a good boss. And a good boss is, you know, um, obviously, you know, just writing things down, taking account, being able to review these things and, you know, just see your growth or see if you're, you know, not doing what you need to do to grow, because that's really where you will find um, your success and, um, you know, growing to another level here in the business. So I hope that helps. I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of their week and uh, look forward Forward to speaking uh, with all of you guys throughout the week. If you have any questions, you know that my phone's always open and you can give me a call. And if you want to, you know, um, you know, go over, um, you know, your dials or, you know, kind of, you know, your phone script or anything at all, like I said, just give me a call. So bye everybody.